Yodelay! Switzerland is a neutral alpine nation situated in the middle of Europe, comprised of 26 states or cantons. The Swiss Alps formed when the Eurasian and African tectonic plates started colliding up to 65 million years ago. And while the hills might be alive with the sound of alphorns, at 4,478 metres, the Matterhorn is one of the most photographed mountains in the world. The Swiss Confederation was formally declared in 1848 and has a population of some 8,379,477 people with a child born every six minutes. Mia and Noah were the most popular baby names in 2015. And just for the record, Heidi did not make the list. Switzerland is a direct democracy, meaning that the population get to vote directly on issues that affect them and has four official national languages. German, French, Italian and Romanche. And then there's Swiss German with words like Hörchikäschli and Hörchli. At least I think that's how they sit. Meaning kitchen cupboard and cheese pie. Renowned for their fondue, chocolate and watches, the finance, pharmaceutical, engineering and biotech sectors are somewhat less cliched world-class performers. And when you need to set your new Swiss watch, just take a Swiss train. Known to be the most on-time rail network in the world and one of the most expensive, with an 88.8% .8 reliability rate. The Swiss love their trains and take the highest number of per capita train trips in the world with an average of 59 rail journeys per year. The new Gotthard Tunnel at 57.09 kilometres is the world's longest and deepest rail tunnel, costing 9.8 billion francs. The view inside, not quite as impressive as the distance, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. In 2017, Switzerland came first on the US News and World Report list of best countries, a ranking based on quality of life, innovation, social inclusion, cultural heritage, entrepreneurship, adventure opportunities and being open for business. And in 2016, Switzerland filed the highest ratio of European patent applications to population, 893 patents per million inhabitants. Not bad for a small country where every second person can play a musical instrument. Einstein, who once worked at the Swiss Patent Office and taught at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, would be proud. Switzerland has had its fair share of the rich and famous who've lived here over the years. Perhaps it was the less taxing lifestyle. Freddie Mercury from Queen lived and recorded in Montreux. Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin, better known as Charlie, lived in Vervey. Audrey Hepburn resided in Toloshina. Phil Collins has a place in Bunyan. And Grammy Award winner Tina Turner, who's now a Swiss citizen, lives on the lake near Zurich. And then there's the homegrown tennis hero, Roger Federer, winner of the most men's singles Grand Slams ever, with a legendary forehand strong enough to put the holes in Swiss cheese. They don't call him the Federer Express for nothing. So as we say here in Switzerland, hop Schweiz, Swiss, Switzerda, Switzerda. Enjoy a memorable time, maze right here in Switzerland.